I told you you would see me before I saw you. This is what I was referring to. <laughs> For those who are scared of us black people, when we have emotions about something that's not passive, we are not supposed to be passive about everything. Not every person is supposed to be that way. What is that if you're just an effectless being, you know? So I'm making this video to clear up some things. Um, there's a there's a there's a continual phase in America of the world that benefits from Black Death. The death of an via music, movies, and art, and basically. I'm seeing it. We saw it in 2020 with Black Lives Matter. Every time somebody got killed, none of those families got benefits from that, if some minimal. People who were who were in the Black Lives Matter organization were able to buy huge million dollar homes in white gated communities, mind you. Marvel, same thing. You know, you replace every other character that's that exists in the Marvel universe, just like whatever. But when one of the main black ones die, you just capitalize on his death by making it part of the story. When that actually never really happened in the, in the book until like far, 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 far away. And then he didn't really die. He just went to another like world and shit during the uh, Infinity Wars, which is what, you know, but he, he, he survived the Infinity Wars though in the book. So <laughs> it's kind of like, no. And I bring it to local artists who capitalize on death, you know, and I just speak to an art community of Santa Fe who has applauded this creation by this artist by the name of Alberto Elias Zalmas or some, I may be saying it incorrectly, I don't know, um, but he has capitalized on my Ex soulmates, uh, well, still a soulmate, but just ex lover. You know, people don't understand that with uh, with black people loving each other, we don't. We still honor each other. Uh, we still honor each other with living images, not dead images of the dead. You know, um, and that's just the truth. And so, it really bothered me to see his artwork, but yet my emotions about it got me labeled as some kind of a crazy racist or something um and if something i have said in the past sounded racist fine that's your problem i'm not trying to be racist but if i'm telling you how i feel about something that's how i feel about something that's not a racist thing it's racist to think that you can just do that to somebody because they're cool and they're black you don't do that to anybody else and you know and you know, and even then, the imagery, the imagery is just the images of it is just so much more respectful of the of the, of the fallen. You know, not some skeletal skeletal image of someone already passed on. Fuck you, man. Who are you to paint my Taz in a skeleton form and not have any feelings about it? I'll screenshot it right now. So you can see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, he didn't really give a fuck about um, my feelings about it at all. You know, he was just totally comfortable with exploitation and not even a good exploitation. And on top of that, if he had actually painted her face or tried to, I'd have been more respectful of that piece. But... He painted the person in the community who loved to hug everybody as a death character. Death didn't hug people when she was alive. It was my Taz, my my best friend since my best friend since I was sixteen. And 
you pretty much shit on that with your art. And it's, um, and to be as apathetic about it, not to really care on top, it's like a double edged uh, fuck you to me. So, um, I don't have to do anything to prove, uh, or, or, or violence or anything like that. Your buddy Rama Kim called me. With, look, look at this. Met, he started this conversation with me.